sort of can take out Miso in the upcoming match. It's game number three. Bias. <laughs> I, you're saying I'm biased? Yeah. You said, well, well, let's see if sort of can take out Miso. Oh, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> My fault. It's all good, bro. Some pl other players that have uh, qualified for the semifinals are, are Bly. Of course, you guys just saw that. Dark from Slayers and Empire Vines. So uh, we have two Zergs and a Protoss. So whoever you want to cheer for. If you want to cheer for sort of the Swedish Zerg player here in the bottom left at the blue Zerg. Or maybe you're going to cheer for Terran Miso in the top right from Team Slayers who is sending out a very early, early SCV. SCV. Um, oh my. Oh my. I believe in Espanol it's called queso. Queso. Like queso dia. <laughs> right? That's how it works. Yes. Whoa, he's going to proxy it by the watchtower. Now, that's the position we don't normally see all the time. And it's an 11 11. Yep. It's 11 11. Okay. It's going to be very savage and sort of doesn't scout it necessarily yet. Is he going to be ready for this? I don't think so. But he is sending out a pretty early drone scout. Oh. oh. Which way is it going to go? If Which it way goes is to it that go? tower. Oh, oh, he's going to the southern route. No. That hurts so bad. And this is a great proxy spot, Andre. I'm yeah. going to start using it. You know what? Well, from now on, every single uh, Zerg. Scout this Zelda yes. tower. Like they'll never forget. If you play Zerg, you're going to be like, wow, I'm always going to take this tower just in case. Some people proxy a little bit north of the center expansion geysers because that's why it's just outside the, the, the watchtower range. Some people do that. But, I mean, now he has to know. He sounds nothing here in the main base. Yeah. like, okay, well. Count the SCVs. That's exactly what you have to do. Um, what are you doing? Yeah. Count the SCVs. It could be a barracks up here. Remember, it could be a barracks all the way down here. Um, and he's like, yep, it's a two rack. He could have found out about this a lot earlier. We'll see how sort of actually defends this, if at all. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. One thing to note on this map is that it's a lot harder to send all your SCVs and not be found out. Yes. Uh, with good overlord positioning, you should be able to catch this every single time. And now the drone will start being attacked. Drones need to be pulled. <sighs> Loses mm. the first drone. Very, very bad position for sort of. Yeah, this uh, is going to be really Because the second tough. bunker. Oh, the second bunker. Oh, doesn't barely get in there. But the also the other drone trying to chase back to two other Marines. And the Marines are coming back as fast as they can. But the drone gets intercepted by the SCV. Great micro from Miso. And sort of chances are dwindling as it, each drone that he loses. But he stalled for enough time so that these bunkers are delayed significantly. If he oh, can kill wow. the SCVs. Yeah, that's three SCVs, though. That's very difficult to do. And what is he waiting for behind this? It's actually a couple of Zerglings, actually eight Zerglings. Six Zerglings are going to pop out here, and now four more underway. And he will be just zoning the units. I think that is correct, but you want to leave a couple of units back. Oh, if he can give this... I don't agree with this chase. There could be a lot more behind this. And look oh. at this barracks position. Nicely done. Wow, very, sort very of. Very, well done from Miso, being able to pick off a couple of units here. But of course, some of the Zerglings are working on the bunkers back at home. And uh, sort of also just letting this bunker kind of go up for now. Or sorry, he, uh, uh, Miso's the one letting that bunker go up, trying to salvage it. But at the same time, he's trying to fight for position. There's still enough Marines to really threaten. And even if he's able to, you know, put, put off the bunker pressure, is he going to be able to hold off the Marine count that's getting higher and higher? Yeah, that's the big problem. And you normally need, uh, like, spine crawlers. Not even queens, spine crawlers. That's what you need. And in this position, oh, sort of is going for the back step. I don't agree with this. Backstabs are easily countered. Oh, there's the big SEV pull. So mm -hmm. we're going to have the same exact build that we saw last game. Look at these overlords. They're not in position. They should immediately be over here on this top and over here to check out for these all-ins. This is not a good position for sort of. He could lose the game twice the same way. He's squeezing out drones too, and he, he, he has to be suspicious of something because, I mean, the SCVs are just dancing around, and he's he thinks he's getting farther ahead, but he needs more if he wants to defend. And again, sort of, oh, you can see the SCV count. He says, not this again. And all of a sudden, oh. the Zerglings uh, are trying to come in for a flank, good but they can't really approach. Oh, the Marines are trying to also kite back and stutter step. Good control this one from Miso, trying to pull back the SCVs to buffer for them. Wow. The SCV count is reduced significantly, and a lot of Marines are very weak. And sort of has managed to really throw it off the aggression right now, and a lot of SCVs have died. Seven SCVs to 15 drones. Wow, that's actually amazing. And you can really see the difference in positioning this game. I mean, the spine crawler is perfectly in place. And on top of that, on top of that, he has most of his HP. 
<laughs> then last game, he started with a third. Not really a great position, but now he knows. Look at this. Going with Overlord. This is what I'm talking about. Having that Overlord presence. Seeing how many SCVs do you have. And once he verifies, oh, you only have five. You have only one move, so, uh, Miso. And that's the all-in. Sort of should just throw down spine crawlers and uh, Zerglings. That's all. And that's what we see. Eight Zerglings. And here we go, uh, the continuation attack. The Marines trying to see if they can kite back, but a lot of them are getting picked off again by these spine crawler. SCVs dies as well, and that is going to, that is just almost it, because you can't really continue to press on. He's making more SCVs, but sort of is getting a larger and larger advantage, squeezing out one drone at a time, and Queens are now coming out as well. And that is going to be very, very difficult for any kind of traction for the Terran army. Do you know what that is? That's the nail in the coffin. That right is the nail in the coffin. That's it. Or Andre raging after a ladder loss. That is, no, that's a lot, a lot softer. Than yeah. <laughs> I am Andre actually very raging. Like, I want to break this keyboard. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, Andre, that's the lowest I've ever heard your voice. Well, you can see that SCV is trying to repair it, but you need a second SCV to kind of outmatch the DPS of the spine crawler. Nice little uh, poke in and out. There's a way to micro it so that you can have the Marines shoot the spine crawler and po pop back in before... Uh, anything, but now with Sword of Queen, they're adding another ranged unit to hold off the Marines. I don't know. I mean, Miso still could hypothetically do this. It sort of bobbles it completely. But with n two more Queens popping, Andre, the chances of this rush succeeding are very, very small. Well, uh, 10 extra SCVs might help out the situation. we will see right now. Um, but as I said, just Zerklings and spine crawlers. That's all you... That, that's all you really need in this position. Actually, um, there aren't enough spine crawlers here, and he could be kited all day long. But here we go, the here big engagement. Go. Will it work this time? The zealots, or sorry, <laughs> the zerglings are pushing back the marines while the the queens and spine crawlers deal with the SCVs very nicely. And look at the marine count completely get shredded by just the queens DPS. Yeah. And as Ben would say, Miso, bye bye. Bye bye. You can see the remainder of the Marines get picked up. As soon as this bunker drops and the remainder of the Marines get cleaned up, there's going to be nothing else. GG. And sort of advances to the semifinals where he'll face off against three, no, sorry, two Koreans and another European Zerg for his chance at NSL Season 4. Very well done. Flying sort of. I got to give it to you two. I can't wait to see what we see from... Uh, the the coming days, obviously, tomorrow is when we get to see who's going to take that Covenant spot for the NASL Season 4. Yes. And, man, oh, man, I don't mind any of these players making it, honestly. I do not mind at all. So, guys, uh, that's a, that was a good wrap of the day. We had four series, lots of fun action, ZVZ, PvP, and then a couple of non-mirror matchups. But before we send you off, we want to do a couple of things. First, we all want to remind you that subscriptions are available right now for a discount. If you get... You get it for $15.99 right now, 20% yes. off. Fifteen ninety nine. it includes the whole season. Our season lasts four to six months. That is a great deal on top of that. The standard 1080p quality. We have extra content coming yes. to you guys. Lots of cool benefits. And uh, we reward our subscribers personally. If you tweet Definitely. at us, if you uh, tweet at Frodan or at Retorp and prove that you're a subscriber, we'll find a way to reward you. Um, also, we want to mention that Beyond Gaming is currently having the beta for their version 3 release. If you go to beta.beyondgaming.com, you can sign up for your opportunity to play in a lot of tournaments for other games, not just StarCraft, and win up to $5,000 in cash prizes or just other prizes. Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. Definitely check them out. But right now, uh, just to let you guys know, it won't be a um, country kill. It's actually going to be a Korean versus European, Korean versus European for tomorrow. That's we have Bly right. versus Dark as our first semifinal match. And uh, Vines versus Sword of will clean up the rest of the day and the finals. That's all tomorrow. But before you send you off, let's go ahead and thank our sponsors one more time. Starting off with Epson, the number one projector brand worldwide. From home theater to audiovisual installation projectors, Epson has a model to fit your personal and professional Projecting these. Check them out at Epson.com. Ezo Monitors is the monitor supplier here at the North American Star League. Of course, they bring us everything in brilliant image quality. Check them out at Ezo.com slash NA. Thank you to Kingston HyperX, the people who provide um, lines of memory and SSDs and for sponsoring NASL. Check them out at kingston.com slash US slash memory slash HyperX. GameMinder is, of course, the place where you can set reminders for yourself about upcoming games. Check them out at handlelobber.com slash products slash GameMinder. Thank you so much to iBuyPower, the pre-assembled PC company that powers our broadcast each and every day of the week. 
If you want your own pretty simple PC, go to iBuyPower.com. And last but not least, we also want to thank Twitch T Twitch.tv. They are a consistent supporter here uh, of the North American Guitar League and of everywhere. So definitely uh, big ups to them, and thank you. You can visit them, of course. You guys know Twitch.tv. Also, thank you, Tropical, the DJ whose music you're li listening to currently. Dave is a really cool guy, and his music is awesome. If you want to download it, go to soundcloud.com slash tropical hyphen official. That does it. Once again, follow us on Twitter. Follow Chance on Twitter as well, at NASL underscore Chance. I'm Frodan. He's Greed Torp. This has been NSQ number three, the round of 16 and a round of eight. We'll see you tomorrow for the semifinals and finals. We'll find out who's got the chops for season four in about uh, 21 hours. So peace out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.